Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I shall be showing you some of the workflow improvements brought to Dorico 3, the advanced music notation software from Steinberg. Every version, we enjoy adding a number of features that are designed to make working in Dorico easier, quicker, and more enjoyable. Often, these ideas come from seeing how people use our software and their experiences of working in the music industry and challenges they meet on a daily basis. As a result, these are always some of my favorite features. Firstly, working with flows and managing their information has become a lot easier and more powerful by way of a greatly enhanced project info dialog. Using the new key command of Control I, that's Command I on Mac, you can summon the dialog from anywhere in the program. It's also modeless, meaning you can leave it open while you work and apply any changes you make without closing the dialog so you can check your results as you go. There's now a sidebar listing all flows in the project where you can make a multiple selection and change the information for all of those flows at once. You can also add, duplicate, reorder and remove flows using the controls in the action bar. The operations, including updating the info fields, will be carried out only when you press apply. This means you can design the structure of your project quickly, adding all the flows you need instantly, and then Dorico can just create them all at once at the end. The navigation system for write mode that lets you move around the music has been completely rewritten for version 3. The new system is designed to enable you to move left and right through notes in the same voice. The up and down arrow keys move you to the next note in the chord, then the next voice, the next staff, and so on. Still use Control on Windows and Command on Mac with the left, right arrow keys to move to the start of the next or previous bar. And Control or Command and the up down arrow keys will move you to the top or bottom staff in the current system. To select other types of music item, use Tab or Shift Tab to cycle forwards and backwards through any attached notations before returning to the note. With a particular type of item selected, pressing the left and right arrow keys will now navigate between just those notations. For example, slurs, dynamics, playing techniques, even tuplet brackets, and so on. Selecting a rehearsal mark and using the left and right arrow keys is a great way to move through a layout hitting important structure points super quickly. We've added a handful of neat tricks to note input. I've made a whole separate video about multi-carat input that allows you to extend the note input carat onto adjacent staves with the key commands shift up and down and enter music on them all concurrently, exploding chords automatically as you play with a MIDI keyboard. Be sure to check out that video for more information. We've added a couple of new ways to extend the duration of existing notes that help in various situations, such as when you're scoring to picture. Rather than having to work out exactly how long a note should be, sometimes it can be useful to say, I want to hold the note until this point. In Dorico 3, you can do this in two ways. You can make a selection covering a note up until the rhythmic position you would like it to end and choose Write, Extend Duration, extend until end of selection. It works on one note at a time and it's easy to set up a key command so that you can invoke it whenever you need to. The other command is to extend to next note. With this function, you can make a selection across notes on different staves and each note's duration will be extended until the start of the next note in that voice, effectively filling the gaps. Again, you can set a key command for this if it's an operation you're likely to do often. We've made it easier to add tokens to text frames by way of a context menu that gives you instant access via a categorized list. Selecting a token in the list inserts it in the text editor. There are new tokens for basic accidentals which resolve to flat, sharp, and natural in text frames. And these work with text added to the project info dialog so I can set my project title to be Symphony in F, then the token for Sharp, Major, 
and it will resolve using the music font in the layout. In fact, you can access any Smoothful symbol this way, just by using the code point as a token. For example, using U plus E050 in a token will resolve to a treble clef. All code points can be found in the Smoothful specification, and I'll put the link in the description below. Other improvements we've made include being able to use the standard text editing shortcuts, Control or Command, B, I, and U, for bold, italic, and underlined text, a command to remove all fingering items from a selection, a new missing fonts dialog for managing situations where you receive a project that uses fonts you do not have installed on your system, and a completely overhauled user interface that has been designed to be more consistent throughout, including between the dark and light themes, providing greater contrast, as well as working better with the Mac OS dark appearance mode. I do hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please click the thumbs up button below to let me know you've liked it, and subscribe to the Dorico YouTube channel today to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.